September 2nd and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Activists are upset with the state government for not representing Tamil medium students who failed in the NEET before the Madurai bench of the Madras High Court and Supreme Court. The Tamil version of the National Entrance Come Eligibility Test this year had errors in 49 questions. The Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSC, which conducted the test, maintained that it sought the help of Tamil language experts to frame the questions. Activists blamed the state and central governments for being irresponsible with the translation for the test. Since the errors were caused by incorrect translation of technical words from English to Tamil and the students were not familiar with the words used in the test paper, they failed, said the activists. Of the around 24,000 students who took the test in Tamil, only 2% qualified, said Ram Prakash, founder of Tech for All, which conducts free coaching for poor students. Though the CBSE said that NCERT textbooks would be available in regional languages to help students prepare for NEET, till date no effort has been made even to release the syllabus in regional languages, he said. The Tamil Nadu State Disaster Management Authority will launch TN Smart, a web application to collect data related to disaster management and provide flood alerts in specific areas this month. TN Smart will collate existing data on earlier disasters and also assess the impact of weather forecasts issued by the Meteorological Department. This real-time risk assessment system will provide flood alerts across the state and prepare for response. The system would be in place to tackle the oncoming northeast monsoon and aid in decision-making, said Commissioner of Revenue Administration K. Satyagopal. There are plans to install automatic weather stations and rain gauges in river basins and also flow meters and stormwater drain networks to assess impact of flooding. Alerts on inundation in specific areas would be provided based on rainfall and increase in water level of the rivers, he said. The state government has informed the Madras High Court of having sanctioned Rs 10 crore on June 11th to conduct physical and mental health programs for one year in association with NIMHANS for the well-being of around 1.2 lakh police personnel in the state. The money was sanctioned after the Director General of Police wrote a letter to the government conceding that circumstances forced them, meaning policemen, to work around the clock without adequate rest and leave. The DGP also accepted that some of them were addicted to alcohol and some had committed suicide. As the police personnel are one of the first responders who are exposed to violence, emergencies, disasters, unstructured work schedules, overtime and negative time management, their stress level is higher than other professionals, the DGP said, and stated that most of the police personnel lack skills required to manage stress. Chief Minister Erepari K. Palani Swami yesterday congratulated Varun Thakkar and Ganapati Kelapanda on winning the bronze medal in the men's sailing 49er event in the ongoing Asian Games in Indonesia. In separate letters to the two sportspersons from the state, he said both of them would receive a cash incentive of Rs 20 lakh each. On behalf of the people and the government of Tamil Nadu, once again I extend my warm greetings to you and to all those who supported you in this achievement and wish you bring more laurels to the country and the state in the future, Mr. Palni Sami said in his letter. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from three metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 77.63 rupees per litre and diesel for 69.15 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 80.64 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.04 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 80.57 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.99 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 85.05 rupees per litre 
and diesel for 73.41 rupees per liter.